Hey everyone, how's it going today? Hopefully you guys are all having a great day. I just got home. I was out with some friends this afternoon. We were doing some uh, some off-roading activities. Uh, went and got a bite to eat and uh, now I'm back. So uh, back into crypto, never really get a day off in this type of job, which is okay because I love it here anyway. Uh, so let's talk about uh, social impact. So Betch AI coin is at the lead with AI coins by social activity. So we're going to talk about what that means and also look at some other coins that are up there with FET as well. Let's jump into it in this video. Make sure you guys smash like button and subscribe to the channel as well for more cryptocurrency news. And this is important in my opinion because this gives you an idea of the coins in the AI sector in crypto that are being talked about right now. And that's a lot of times what I look for. I look for social activity. I look for, um, somebody asked me, what do you look for in a project before you invest in it? Well, for one, I check out their socials. How active are they posting? How active is the community? Then I also jump into, uh, and I don't, I, I consider socials like um, uh, their X page and uh, their uh, Instagram or anything like that, that they might have. But then I also jump into discord if they have one or telegram and I see, you know, how often people are posting in there. Um, do they raid that kind of thing? Or are they just more of a hype coin? Um, you know, are you able to ask questions? That's a big deal for me too, is I'll jump into a telegram and I'll be like, Hey, can you answer this? And if they raid away, if they're like, Oh my God, you're fudding the project or something like that and kick me out, then I know, they're most likely uh, not a very credible company, right? So uh, I, there's a number of things that go into uh, my opinions on if I want to invest in something or not. And a lot of things like I talk about, I go by social. So I, it's one of the things I go by. I also check out contracts and uh, check out vesting and things like that. And I like, you know, did they have pre-sales? Do they have team allocations? Do they have marketing wallets? There's a number of factors that go into my decisions. So um, like I said, social is a really big deal and uh, several cryptocurrencies in the AI ecosystem are gaining significant attention on social media lately. Fetch AI is topping the list with uh, 10,500 posts. Um, so I'm assuming that this is on X because that's the, uh, the uh, uh, example. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Sorry about that. Lost my words there. That's the example that they're giving us right here. This was from Twitter um, or X, we could call it now. This says top AI ecosystem coins by social activity. And uh, this was by Crypto Depth. So uh, close second, we see Render coming in, which has uh, 8,200. Uh, so it's lively social media activity supports the company's significance in the budding area of AI tech and enhanced graphics solutions. Uh, so we know they are the NVIDIA of crypto and they are coming in a very close second. And we also have Bit BitTensor Tau has 7,800. The fourth largest is Oasis Rose with uh, 4,400. Other significant mentions are Pal with 3,100, OriChain with 2,900, Singularity Net AGIX, which is now FET, so I'm not really sure why that's separate. But anyway, 2,800 posts. Um, well, I guess uh, you know people would be tweeting or posting, I guess, about specifically about AGIX. So we could really, you know, uh, include FET and AGIX together potentially because you know really they are kind of something the same, right? We also have Flux at sixteen hundred, ATH at fifteen hundred, and lastly AIOZ follows with eleven hundred ninety. Um, this one here, I think, is going to do really well. I think, uh, I think that the the team behind this, I think that the uh, the uh, potential behind this project specifically, I think we are going to see this go pretty pretty well. And uh, other ones that I can see here as well, uh, we've got Pal, and we have. Let's see, there was another one that I noticed as well, Rose roses as well. So I think that, uh, you know, we're going to have uh, some pretty decent AI coins really take off in this in this uh, cycle. And I think that, you know, those ones are at the top of my list as well. Well, you guys know, I, I made that uh, specific wallet to share with you guys. And a couple of those are on there as well. You might want to go check out that uh, video I did the other day, yesterday, or whatever. Um, so let's take take a look at the AI sector here on CoinMarketCap. I'm just going to cycle by 24 hours. We've got Palm AI. Um, there's a few uh, that pop up here that I am very aware of. And we've got uh, a few that are cooling off a little bit today as well. We got FET is still up 4.54% uh, in the last day. 
And as we can see, having a little tiny bit of a pullback, um, I don't know if this thing is going to keep running, but I'm assuming that we're going to have some profit taking here. Um, and, the, you know, the market height doesn't seem to be cooling down really much at all. Uh, Bitcoin sitting just under 64K. So Bitcoin's got to, uh, well, I, I'd like to see Bitcoin get up to like 66K. I did a video about that earlier today, actually. And uh, be nice to see this run continue for a little bit. But I understand that, you know, the market's gone up pretty significantly in the last few days. I'm anticipating that to see some profit taking. Um, I, you know, I could potentially see, uh, you know, a couple of red days coming up here before we continue any kind of a run. And we also might have a little bit of a stall, too, because a lot of the sentiment is coming off of the heels of the Federal Reserve in the U.S. deciding they're going to cut interest rates in September. So now what we're going to be doing is there's going to be a waiting game. There's going to be a little bit of a, a period in between now and then when we're waiting to make sure that they actually do cut interest rates and they don't go back on the, well, not saying to go back on the word specifically because he didn't come out and say, you know, we're going to cut this amount, but we're going to have to basically wait and see what happens because, you know, we know Jerome Powell, we know, you know, if the data changes, then that could potentially change his outlook. Um, I don't think that we will see that though. I think that we will most likely get a rate cut. Uh, we're heading into the election. Uh, period here in the U.S. elections, and I think that there's a lot of pressure on him to get some rate cuts going on. So I think we're going to see that. I just don't know how much that's going to be, and I think the market is going to be a little hesitant to run really hard until we get that figure and we get that amount and we get a little bit more certainty from the Fed. So that's pretty much what I'm waiting for. So I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I just uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about social uh, activity and why that matters to me and, uh, you know, how much we can really see from uh, this run that we have right now. So that's pretty much my opinion. That's what I got for you guys in this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will catch you in the next one.